I was raised with confidence. I've never had a voice telling me, you can't do it. I've always believed that I can do it. Those are the words of Amy Schumer, the famous comedian and actress, and a very good friend of mine, someone who I grew up with, and who I've been able to watch from the time that we were in elementary school together up until now to become the star that she has, and I've been able to watch her path in becoming such a confident and successful woman. My name is Christopher D. Connors. This is the Value of You book series here on YouTube, and my new book, The Value of You, is now available on Amazon.com in paperback, and it is also available via the Kindle app or just to download wirelessly to your Kindle device. This is chapter four in my book, Chapter on Confidence. And again, if you're just new to this series, my book is The Value of You, The Guide to Living Boldly and Joyfully Through the Power of Core Values. I go through a series of 20 core values and the importance that they play in building our relationships, opportunities, and leading us to a life of fulfillment and happiness. The creative story in this chapter is about Amy Schumer, and it's about her path to success and how really the foundational value for her of, of how she's experienced all of these incredible opportunities now in her life, it all derived from the confidence that was instilled in her at a young age by her, her mother, by her family and her friends and, and the inspirational examples that she used. And as she graduated college and moved on to her career and she started out doing theater, and she eventually moved into acting and, and comedy, which is now largely what she's known by, but she's now become a Hollywood star as well as an actress and now on Broadway. She used confidence to get to where she is. She knew she had the talent, but she had to first believe in herself. And she had to be very confident in every move that she made. And so in talking with her and learning a little bit more about the evolution of her thought, she really just believed that every opportunity that she was given was her moment, was her time to do her absolute best possible effort. And that she believed enough in herself that whether it was going on to The Tonight Show to perform or whether it was just performing in, in, in front of a, a college university audience, let's just say of 100 people, she knew that that was her opportunity to crush it and to really knock it out of the park. So I talk a little bit more about her story in there. It's a personal story for me because it's someone that I've known. But nevertheless, it's a great example of what it means to really be confident in life. And I can tell you that of all the values in this book, I think from day to day in terms of how we behave and how we act and the way that we view ourselves and how we approach each new opportunity, confidence is so important because it, it colors the way we think about ourselves. But it also, of all the values, perhaps the one that impacts the way other people view us the most is confidence. Confidence is perceived and is admired uh, by other people. It's one of the first things that people pick up on. So in this chapter, I go through the core of what it's all about and talk a little bit more about Amy's story. I get into some of the obstacles uh, of confidence as well as the results of living a confident life and some of the value within the value. And one last part of this that I'll tease for this book is that I tell a story of, of an example of, of, of a time when my brother said to me uh, before a job interview to, to go in with a confident mindset. And he told me, you know, you're playing with house money. You already have another opportunity, but go in with a confident mindset and really just let it ride. And, 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 and that way you won't have anything to worry about or fear. And I use that in the context of talking about confidence and, and, and the belief that, you know, life is all about risk. We can play things conservatively, which at times is the right way to do things, but we develop confidence when we take chances, when we go after bold new opportunities, things that we maybe previously didn't believe we deserved or were possible for us. But when we're truly confident and we give things a shot, whether it's asking that guy out on a date or asking uh, the woman to marry, you know, that, that you want to marry to, to give you that chance or to go for a job or to, to write a book or to do something really great and powerful in your life, you have to be confident to do that. You have to take chances and you have to risk. I finish up each chapter in this book with a game plan, which is practical guidance to how you can live that value out. And again, the name of the book is The Value of You. This is, uh, my, my name is Christopher D. Connors. This is the first book that I've written. It is a practical guide to living a, a life with core values that lead to incredible new frontiers of, of opportunity and possibility. You can check out my writing on medium.com. Visit me at christyconnors.com. And I'm so excited to share this book with you. Please check it out on Amazon and let me know your thoughts. Thank you very much.